now they are doing a rehearsal from Dancing with the Stars that they're going to be performing on Friday night, May the 8th, at the Century Plaza for the Race to Erase MS. They are the opening number. They're doing a great rock and roll song, and it's just going to set the pace for the entire evening. And um, this is the third year in a row, Dancing with the Stars. People have been so amazing and generous and donated their talent, and I think everybody's dazzled by their amazing uh, dances, and everybody wishes they could do what they do. Um, they're very helpful to us in uh, helping find a cure for MS because by using their amazing talent, uh, more people come to the event, and uh, we're so grateful for them. This is the second time Dancing with the Stars Dancers has been to the MS event. We're really happy to donate our time for a great cause. I mean, if we can make a little bit of difference, we're happy to do it. Anything that's for a good cause, we do a lot of uh, fundraising events. It's always a pleasure to be actually invited and participate in events. It's great. Louis is actually one of the, uh, the best dancers in the world, for sure. We, him and I dance together, and uh, I think... One thing that people probably don't know about Lowe is that he loves to actually give back to the community. And doing MS, this is obviously, you know, a charity event, um, taking time off and coming here and choreographing and getting everybody together and getting all the dancers together, I think it shows his great character. And all, I mean, doing a phenomenal job, giving up their time, even though the season is right close to its finale, they all take time to be there Friday night to support MS. He's a bit of a tyrant, but it's okay. We all used to do that. You know, Louis is a great choreographer, and he yeah. really does a good job. He's done the Dancing with Stars tour, and this is the second time Louis done the MS event. You know, and he deserves some sort of medal for putting up with the Russian girls. Oh, whatever. Because that's not easy. Whatever. You're married I know. to one. We love dancing together. Yeah. And especially to dance for a cause like this. It's, it's so worth it. Yeah, he, d he didn't want to switch partners. He, like, grabbed onto me and said, I'm dancing with my wife. We get to do what we are trained to do. Because yeah. sometimes when you dance with a celebrity, you sort of try to match their, their abilities sometimes. So here we're going to rock it and going to go full on. We fight. We fight. It's real, real life. This is the real life reality. This is like marriage between dancers. We all have our disagreements, but at the end of the day, we're here to do the same thing, and we love dancing, and dancing, this is what we do. It's easier for us to work together already because we know each other for such a long time, and we already did so many things, so it's kind of like two hours, and we could totally be done with that. We think Jill's, by the way, should win. I don't know who I'm for, but I, I think like Jill's is going to win. I like them all. I really like Ty. I don't think he's going to win, but I really like him. He's cute. I'll be rooting for Ty, of course, because, you know, we, we spent so much time in Texas together. And, uh, I mean, I would say Jill. I'm totally going to be for Melissa because Tony is my dance partner, so that's it. My pick was little Kim, who oh, got gosh, loaded off too. yesterday. So I think it just shows that this season is even more unpredictable. Every week we have a new leader. Um, so it's like, I don't know, I think Jill has a good shot and definitely Melissa's got a good shot. Jill. Jill. He was be he's been the most consistent. And he came in with no dance training. Sean has advantages with her physical body. Melissa, dance training. Jill, none. So Jill deserves it.